All right, so there's me. Um, I've got my computer right here so I can see all of your comments. And yeah, doing a live show. How's it going? <laughs> I haven't done one of these in a while and it's literally just me here in this room. So I'm just talking straight at nobody and I feel like I have to just, you know, keep going. So hello to the 70 people that are watching right now. I was really worried that no one was gonna show up. So if you're watching this live, thank you for being here. And uh, thank you for, you know, taking your time out of your day. Hey guys, let's see. Uh, Leah is here. Brooklyn is here. Maria. Martin. All right, so here's what's happening. I'm going to be doing a mystery craft project live on screen. And what that means is that I know what the project is, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what the project is. Instead, I'm gonna break it up into three parts. And so I'm going live, obviously, right now. I'm gonna do part one. Part two will be tomorrow, Thursday, at the same time, uh, 10 a.m. And then part three, where you'll see the finished result, will be Friday at the same time, at 10 a.m. So you'll tune in all three days and you'll kind of see the project come to life. Does that sound good? I think it'll be fun. I just thought this would be a fun little experiment. <laughs> um, so as you can tell from the, uh, the little test, um, the first shot, I have a lot of paint here. We are going to be painting, and that's kind of partly why I needed to do it over multiple days because it's gonna need to dry overnight. So we're gonna be painting. I'm gonna admit, I have not tested this out. I have done kind of the different parts of it, have all kind of been inspired by other projects I've done, which have, um, so like I know that the individual parts will work, but we're just all gonna find out together if it all comes together into a craft or if it's a craft fail. It very well might be just a live on camera craft fail. So um, before I start doing the actual craft, uh, do you guys wanna ask me questions? Because once I actually get into it and I explain what I'm doing, I think I can just answer some questions, talk about what you guys want me to talk about. So for the next like minute, um, in the chat, I'm reading the chat as we go. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'm just gonna start setting up a few of the supplies over here. So give me a sec. <laughs> All right, so um, here are the supplies that, oh, questions. Sorry, this is all over the place. I haven't done a live show in a while. Okay, what's your favorite craft supply? I can talk about that. What's my favorite kind of paint? Okay. Um, all right, you guys keep leaving questions. I'm gonna run through the supplies. So here I've just got some scrap paper, just a couple sheets so that I don't get it, get the paint all over my nice blue background. I've got a piece of cardstock, which is about, uh, not quite 11 by 17. I forget exactly what size, but you know, like a good sized piece of cardstock. And then I've got paint. Um, this is just normal like acrylic paint that you can get at any craft store. And I'm also going to be using a hotel room key. Uh, you can also use a credit card or a gift card, anything that's like a plastic uh, size <laughs> thing like this. And that's all the supplies for part one. So let's see. When is my birthday? That's an easy one. It's December 31st, New Year's Eve. <laughs> and it means that nobody ever cares because everyone's always celebrating the holidays and doesn't care about my birthday. Um, let's see. Do you have any tip? Okay, do you have any tips for crafting without spending too much money? That's something I can talk about. Everyone's asking what's my favorite craft I've ever made. Um, I can talk about that. And okay. I'm gonna, okay, just uh, just to warn you guys, if you get seasick or anything, the camera's about to move. I'm gonna throw it back up here so you can see what I'm working on. So hang tight. <laughs> All right, so, oh. I'm trying to frame this up, but when I'm watching it on screen, it's like a couple seconds of a delay. So hang on.
All right, okay, so here is, you can't really see it right now because it's white on white, but this is the paper that I'm working on. I'm actually, so there's the glossy side and then there's the matte side, and I'm going to be working on the matte side just because I feel like the paint is gonna grip that side a little bit better. Um, oh, this is still a little crooked. This is gonna bug me, and I don't know if I can zoom in. Oh, I can zoom in. Okay, there we go. Now we've gotten rid of uh, all of that kind of extra space on the sides. Okay, so here is what we are going to do. We're gonna take our paint. I think I'm gonna start with this nice pink because I just bought this and it was a total impulse purchase, but I just think it's such a nice color. And I like buying colors in already mixed because then if you're doing a big project where you're painting like a large area you don't have to worry about mixing up your color and then like putting plastic wrap over it so you can do a second coat without the paint drying out because it's impossible to mix like the exact same shade twice so just to make things easier i just bought this pre-mixed so i can squeeze out as much as i need so oh hello to the um 105 people watching. I can't believe 100 people are watching this right now. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, if you watch the unicorn uh, corkboard video, we're doing basically the same thing. We're just gonna squeeze out some paint and then, <gasps> so pretty. Oh my God. And so you can see that some paint ends up there on the thing. So you can just kind of keep, keep going. And I actually think I'm gonna squeeze out couple different um, colors at once so that they can all kind of mix together as we go. There we go, got some yellow in there. Oh, this paper is gonna get very wrinkly. Maybe I should have thought of that. <laughs> anyway, we'll just see how it goes. This is live and I haven't tested it before, so you guys are here doing it with me. Although actually, um, before I do this, I'm gonna grab a paper towel just so that I can wipe off the card in between colors. One sec. <laughs> we go just got a paper towel so I'm just gonna wipe off that pink paint and then start scraping some of this along and oh my god it's so pretty okay there we go we can kind of go in both directions and when you're working with multiple colors like this you want to be careful not to mix it too much because then you just end up with a lot of like blobby gray, like brownish colors. So I'm gonna be pretty, oh, that was probably way too much paint. I'm gonna be pretty um, conservative with the amount that I'm actually scraping here. All right, so questions. Uh, you guys want to know, oh, Hannah wants to know, what is my favorite craft store? On, um, does Amazon count? <laughs> Honestly, I get most of my craft supplies from Amazon, partly because I don't have a car, so, um, here in LA, I have to take Lyft everywhere whenever I wanna go somewhere that I can't walk to. And oh, just by the way, I'm gonna start using some white paint to break up a little bit of this color. So I order a lot of stuff on Amazon, also because it's cheaper than a lot of stores. Um, if I need to go get something in person, either because Amazon doesn't have it or some stuff, if it's like something really small that it's not worth getting shipped out, um, you know, it might be cheaper just to go to Michael's to get it. So Michael's is the one that I go to because uh, they have everything I need and they have a lot of good coupons and it's not too far away from my apartment. So I'll go, I'll actually go in and buy stuff in bulk, not in bulk, but I'll buy stuff for multiple videos at once. So what I'll do is I'll brainstorm, say all of my back to school videos, which is what I'm in the middle of working on right now. And then I'll write out all the supplies that I'm gonna need and I'll go to uh, Michael's and I'll you know, put in a big order on Amazon and then everything else, I'll go to Michael's and just buy everything at once. And so actually, right over there, <laughs> you guys, I'm not gonna show it to you because it's so messy, but the floor of my living room is literally just covered in 
craft supplies and school supplies and like back to school stuff because I'm in the middle of shooting all of my back to school videos right now. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see another color. Uh, I'm not another color. Another uh, question is what I meant to say. Uh, oh, you guys are wondering if I'm gonna leave this live stream up. Yes, you can watch this again as many times as you want. It'll be up on my channel forever until the world. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Um, did I say 10 a.m. for tomorrow? Yes, 10 a.m. Pacific time. So 24 hours from right now. All right. I think that's looking pretty good, but in order to not, actually no, I'm gonna add a little more yellow over here. And then in order to not mix it too much, I'm gonna let it dry for a couple minutes and maybe take a few more questions. So here we go. Oh, that yellow is looking a little gross. <laughs> All right, so there we go. All right, I think that's looking okay. So I'm going to leave that for a minute to dry and just to warn you guys again, we're gonna get a little shaky. So hang tight. There we go. Okay, there's me again. And sorry, I'm all sweaty. I turned off the air conditioning so that you guys, oh, let me zoom back out so that you guys wouldn't uh, hear the audio, but now it is very warm in here. <laughs> um, Maddie wants to know, would I ever get a pet in the future? No, not a fan of uh, pets in general. Not really an animal person. Sorry if that ruined your entire perception of me as a nice human, but um, I, just, I don't like animals, just even if like a friend has a dog and they want to bring it over, just having an animal in my living space gives me so much anxiety, probably because I didn't grow up with pets and so I'm just not used to it. And I just don't think I'm gonna have a pet. So um, I love looking at pictures of animals. I just don't need one here in my house. <laughs> um, let's see, any other questions? Uh, Oh, Zaina wants to know, can I do another Pearly Read video? Yes, actually this Sunday, if you tune in at really whenever I wake up, like probably like 8 a.m. ish, I'm gonna upload my new video, which is a Harry Potter Pearler Bead Crafts. They're so good. Um, yeah, it's like, it's combining my two favorite things, Harry Potter and Pearler Beads. And you guys are asking for more Pearler Bead stuff. And so I was like, I am happy to Oblige, and I'm happy to do more because I love Perler Beads too and it gives me an excuse to catch up on my podcasts while I'm filming so I'm literally just sitting there for hours placing each little Perler Bead. <laughs> Let's see, another question. Uh, have you done a slime video? I haven't actually. I hear those are big on YouTube but uh, I have not dipped my my little crafty hands into that one yet, maybe someday, but right now I have all of my back to school stuff pretty much planned out. So if it happens, it won't happen for another month or so. Maybe for Halloween though, that would be fun, like Halloween slime. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, can I do a room tour? I did a room tour last year and honestly my room hasn't changed very much. So if you just look up like on my channel, Karen Cabot room tour, um, well, apartment tour, I think is what I called it. It'll pop up and you can watch. And I know that you guys love my roommate, Rob. He is in that video. So if you want more Rob, um, he only agrees to be on my channel once a year because he is not a YouTuber. But uh, yeah, he's in that video. <laughs> oh my God, it's so hot in here. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Um, Sarah wants to know what I'm doing for back to school. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I'm not actually going back to school because I graduated college five years ago, but I'm doing a lot of back to school videos and the one that's coming out, not this Sunday, but the Sunday after, I'm actually going to finish editing it today. I just finished filming it and it is DIY school supplies to make when you're bored. So I know that you guys are really into the like DIYs when you're bored that take a while to finish. I did that, but for school supplies. So it's really fun. I did like a notebook and a textbook cover and a pencil case and stay tuned for that. I don't know what date it is, but whatever a week from Sunday is, that's when it'll be up. Ah, uh, can, ooh, do, do, do. 
Is YouTube my full-time job? Yes, well, sort of. So I work from home, so my YouTube channel is like half of what I do. The other half is making videos for HGTV Handmade, which if you don't know, is a DIY collab channel that I'm a part of, obviously run by HGTV, the television channel, and I also do some extra editing for them. So all of Marianne's videos and all of Maria's videos on Handmade, I edit those and also the social cuts of those that go on Facebook. And yeah, between those kind of three segments that fills up all of my time. <laughs> um, okay, I think this is, yeah, this is dry enough. So we're gonna go back to the craft. One sec. <laughs> I wish I had a second, like there was a way to not have to move my phone back and forth, but here we are. So, okay, so here's where we're at so far. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more white because I want the colors to be a little more subtle, a little less like circus C. So I'm literally just squeezing white paint out onto my page, grabbing my uh, hotel room key again, which, are you supposed to give these back? Like, does anyone work at a hotel? I, if it's a cool design, I honestly just don't give them back. I just keep them. <laughs> so I'm gonna just use the edge of that to kind of spread it out. And, oh, that looks cool. Oh, I love how it's kind of covering up all of those colors that we just did. And honestly, the goal here is to fill the entire paper with paint. So you can see, I don't know how much you can tell on camera, but there's white paint and then there's paper showing through. So I want to not have any more paper. I just wanna have all paint all over this piece of paper. <laughs> and yeah, I really like how the white's looking. So I'm gonna just keep squeezing out more of that white. Um, I actually made a comment to my roommate the other day cause he was hanging out um, over the weekend while I was filming one of the back to school projects. And I was like, this is the, like, this is the shot where I know while I'm filming it that it's gonna be sped up like 5,000% and so you guys are all gonna consume it in like five seconds whereas I'm sitting here for like a full half hour just putting everything into place and gluing everything down, which is fine. Like that's how the job works but um, I just think it's funny when I'm like aware of that as I'm doing it is, uh, yeah, you normally like this type of project, this shot, if I was filming this for a real video, um, this would all be sped up and you would not see all of this detail, but that's why I decided to try out a live show so that you guys could actually see the full process and how long it actually does take. All right, um, let's see, any more questions? Do you guys, uh, let's see, how long have I been live for? I actually don't know how to find out. Does anyone know? <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna keep painting because gotta finish this. Uh, okay, does anyone have, oh, 20, 23 minutes. Oh, that's way longer than I expected. I thought I was gonna be here for like 15. So, okay, I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna um, try to finish this up really quickly. Does anyone have any more questions that you want me to talk about? And I'll be here again at the same time tomorrow so you can think of more questions overnight and um, just have come back with like amazing questions tomorrow and then I'll answer all of them. Well, not all of them, if there are a lot, but you know, I'll answer a lot of them. Uh, can I please do a cooking video? I have done I have attempted cooking videos and most of them have ended up in my craft fail compilations because I am not a good cook. Um, literally, if I use more than like three ingredients, that's when I think I've like cracked the secret of cooking because I only ever use like three ingredients at once. I make scrambled eggs every morning and then I like make pasta and I use the microwave and that's the extent of my cooking ability. So. Don't think I'm gonna become a YouTube chef, but hey, you never know. Weirder things have happened in the world. What do you guys think of this craft project, by the way? It's weird to be able to get like live feedback as I go. Do you guys like it? It's not exactly what I thought it was gonna end up looking like, but you know, sometimes that's what ha that's 
that's what happens. I'm gonna throw a little bit more pink on here, just a tiny little bit. Uh, where do I get my paint from? Um, I've either ordered it from Amazon or I got it from Michaels or I don't know. I just have so many craft supplies now. Honestly, I forget where I've gotten all of it. <laughs> but yeah, this, this brand of paint, um, pretty much any craft store should carry it. And I've been using it literally for, is that even on camera? Yeah, literally for years. Like when I started taking painting classes when I was like 10, I took this after school painting class at an art store. And I literally think I still have some of the paints that I bought from that. And we used this brand. And yeah, so that's, that's just kind of my go-to. All right, I think that's looking um, pretty good. Uh, what, okay, I'm gonna finish it off on whose question, uh, Julie's question. What craft supply have I always wanted but never bought? That's a tough one because now that I have, you know, a, you know, now that you guys watch my videos, I can reach out to a lot of craft companies and just get supplies. <laughs> like I don't always have to pay for them anymore. So a lot of stuff that I never thought I would be able to have, like, I don't know, like the um, silhouette machine, I just reached out to them and they're like, yeah, totally have one. Um, what do I want? Uh, you know what? I think we're pretty much done with the craft for right now. So I'm going to just let you guys look at my masterpiece for a sec while I think about the answer to that question. So this is where I'm going to leave it to dry overnight. We've got this nice like painted um, texture with lots of different colors happening and yeah, as you saw, it was really easy. It was literally just like paint and a credit card and you just keep squirting it down and kind of spreading it around and trying not to mix it too much and just getting this nice texture. So now that you've gotten a good look at that, let me come back up here and show you my face for like one second. <laughs> All right, hi guys again. Um, oh, you know what craft supply I want? Uh, Duck Brand just came out with some new I think they're calling them mirror tapes. That's like really, really shiny duct tape. And I'm not working directly with them anymore. So they haven't sent any to me because I'm not doing like craft projects for them. But um, I would really like to get my hands on some of that. So I might have to just like go out to the store and buy it. <laughs> so, okay, I think that's gonna be it for today. So as I said, I'm gonna let this dry overnight and I'm gonna be back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific time, so 24 hours from now, and we're gonna do part two of this project. So feel free to kind of brainstorm amongst yourselves down in the comments, um, even if you're not watching this live, if you're watching it later. Um, you know, discuss, what do you think I'm making? What do you think I'm gonna turn this into? And I'll be back then. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to uh, Elizabeth and Carlos and Eli and Creative Queen and Sarah and um, oh also feel free to leave more questions down in the comments because I'll um, if no one shows up tomorrow I'll just answer those questions so thank you guys for watching how do I turn this off <laughs> I haven't done a live show in so long I hope this is good um, thank you for being here and I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Did I do it? Did I do it?